you're an issuer, uh, it's realizing uh, there's there's one that I like to do, uh, one distinction I like to make, which is the difference between a client and a customer. And so even as investors, you can still split that up. So the difference, a customer, uh, I view that as uh, like a used car salesman, uh, you know, a dealership. It's once you drive it off the lot, you know, the car is your problem. That's yeah. the definition of a customer. Okay. Whereas a client, it means if something comes up, you know, you have like a fiduciary duty to say, Hey, by the way, this is something that's going on. You should be aware of it. And, and so you need to change the relationship. So how does that work with investors? Well, if they're a customer, that means they're transactional. Okay. It means each yeah. time it's going to be like, like a few years. And then it's like, okay, sayonara. Whereas like, if they're a client, then it's like, okay, I like the, the Burr method, you know, of, you know, getting your right. cash out refinance and buy and hold basically, you know, that would be a client investor, but just, just getting the idea of like, what are the traits of customers? I think it's really important if you're going to do well in business and it's just another blind spot that people have. You know, okay. That was, that was great. Dan, I'm, I'm picking up some really good stuff from you because I, you know, I've always said who are your customers in this business, IOBs, investors, owners, brokers, but you know, technically you're right. The owners and the brokers, they're, they're customers. They are transactional. You may never see that broker again, but to build a business, you build a business with clients and the clients are, you know, you have a fiduciary responsibility and those are your investors. And you absolutely have to have that with your investors. That's very cool.